Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to explain the overflow property in CSS. The overflow property sets the defined behavior when content does not fit in the parent element box, meaning it overflows. There's five states, visible, hidden, clip, scroll, and auto. Here's an example. Let's create a div element. Then within this div element, I'll create a paragraph. I'll generate some text. Then going to our style sheet, I'll take our div, then give this div a border of two pixels solid. I'll also limit the height. Height, 75 pixels. Now we have a problem. The content of our paragraph is overflowing out of our div. We have a couple different ways of handling this with the overflow property. By default, overflow is set to visible. There's going to be no apparent change. Basically, we're stating if any inner elements will overflow, allow it to do so. That's why you see this text overflow out of our box. Our second state is hidden. With hidden, any content that will overflow outside of our box will be hidden. We can no longer see it. However, we can still interact with it. For example, if I were to copy and paste all of this text, well, we still have the full text available. Now, clip. Clip is very similar to hidden. There's no apparent change. With overflow set to clip, it's used in tandem with the overflow clip margin property. Using this property, we can set how far this content displays or overflows outside of the box. If I were to set overflow to be 13 pixels, this content will overflow by this amount, 13 pixels. Then the rest is hidden. It's very similar to hidden, but it's used alongside overflow clip margin. Then we have scroll. With scroll, our box contains a scroll bar both vertical and horizontal. We can use the scroll bar to see the entire length of our content. If there's not enough content within this container, for example, I'll delete most of these words. Well, we still have that scroll bar, although it's disabled. If you set overflow to auto, if you don't need the scroll bar, either horizontal or vertical, it won't be displayed until you do need it. So let me undo these changes. Now that scroll bar is displayed. That's the use of overflow auto. All right, everybody, so that's the overflow property. It sets the behavior for a parent element when the content doesn't quite fit. You can set this property to be visible, hidden, clip, scroll, or auto. And that is the overflow property in CSS.